Okay, just to bring y'all up to speed on where we are today, yesterday I was working on the cross that's going to go on the church, and I needed some things, I needed some information. For example, uh, I needed to know how the cross was going to attach up on top of the steeple, and I couldn't think of any way of knowing that unless I either climbed up there or got someone to climb up there and take some measurements shoot some pictures things like that so I called the preacher of the church to ask him if he knew that information or if he knew someone that could get it and while I was waiting for the preacher to call me back this guy called me who's the brother of a guy I used to go to church with who basically was kicking around the idea of how to make a banjo bass guitar and what he was looking for was uh, he wants like a camp bass something he can take camping with him that will not be electric but will make enough noise so that he can sit around the campfire and play his bass guitar while he's out camping and he'd been looking online and he'd seen a lot of different options and one of the options that he'd seen was where someone had had basically made a bass banjo and he had bought a bass neck and he came over and I had this pot up in the top of the attic of the back room so we commenced the process of or I commenced the process of attaching this neck to this pot and he is a retired brick mason he used to climb up on top of houses and build chimneys and stuff so he said I can climb the steeple and I can get the information you want I can even help you put up the cross at first it was just me telling him how to do it, but it evolved into me actually doing it. And he's going to uh, mount the cross for me, or help to mount it or something. And, and he did climb up yesterday and got the pictures. So, the problem with this is that this neck was not made to fit anything like this. And it needs for the bridge to be way back here. And in order to get the bridge even on the banjo, I had to sort of extend the neck out which I did by putting a piece of Coco Bolo wood on the bottom, which comes up against the bottom underside of the banjo when there's a bolt in there. But I need to get the neck angle set right and the neck fit set right. So what I decided to do, or to try, I've never done this before, but I have some of this Pour 15 epoxy putty. And it's basically two parts putty that you mix together and then put into a place, form it, and let it dry and it hardens up. So what I've done is I've got the neck angle correct by putting two strings in the middle two slots and running them down the neck here. I can see uh, that they run these little dots in the center of the neck runs right evenly between the two strings all the way from top to bottom. That gets my direction this way correctly. And by tilting the neck so that the string runs along the frets at this angle, I've just about got my neck angle correct. Now you'll notice this is actually touching the pot, this string. However, he wants a little taller bridge. So this, by having it here, I'll be able to raise that bridge slightly, which will give him the, the height that he's looking for and still have the neck angle be just about correct. So the next thing for me to do is to walk away from this project and let that harden and then when I'm going to come back by the way I put this um, cellophane stuff in here so that this putty doesn't stick to the pot and I've got wood to wood on uh, putty to wood on this side so my hope is that it will stick to 
the wood but not stick to the pot. Hopefully I can loosen this, take the putty out, stick it back on there and it will form and stay on there. Uh, because this is a pine neck, it's not very strong. So what I may do is take this pet putty and put it around the edge down here too, just to give it more strength. And I'll also wind up with some putty on the bottom side. But right now there's nothing I can do except walk away from this and give it time to harden. So I'm gonna go and consider what to do next. Uh, I think there's some things I still need to know about up on the church steeple, so. And it's wet today, so I'm sort of contemplating climbing up there myself, which is terrifying for me because I don't climb well. I don't uh, do heights. I'm scared of heights. So we'll see what happens next.